should we carve our pumpkin into this year? Let's make a black cat. Hey, uh, let's do a witch's face. Oh, I say we cut it into a shitty movie. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. That's, that's let's do that. It's Jack-O-Lantern on the cut-up. Jack has been in a mysterious accident that put him in a coma for a while. Now that he's back, he's having a hard time adjusting to normal life. One day, he finds a pumpkin on his porch and decides to carve it, but soon after he does so, strange things start to happen, and one by one, everyone involved with the accident starts dying. Will they find out what's going on and stop it? Many people on this earth own cameras. Hell, just about everyone in the world has one on their phone now. And with the advent of YouTube and easy to self-publish DVD sites on the interwebs, many have at least made or uploaded a video to the net. Or at least can. But just because you can doesn't mean you should. Jack-o-lantern is bad. How bad, you ask? Well, it ranks right up there with Leprechaun 4. I would rather rewatch Leprechaun 4, by the way, never happening, than this. If Leprechaun 4 is to be compared to, say, shit, then Jack-O-Lantern is fossilized diarrhea shit. Okay, I know, I know, I normally articulate my point a lot more maturely than that, but I wasted my time watching this just as I feel the director wasted his time releasing it. I was about an hour in when I decided to pause it and see how much time was left in the movie. I said to myself, there can't be that much more here. But there was still a half hour to go. Oh, God, no! Now, just because I say the director wasted his time releasing this doesn't mean he necessarily wasted his time making it, as you do need to practice to experience and learn. But you don't release your practice runs to people. That's like walking outside naked in front of an audience after a cold shower. They want to see the goods, but you ain't got them. And neither does Jack-O-Lantern. Obviously, Jack-O-Lantern was shot on a budget, if it even had a budget. But even without a budget, you think there's a lot of things you could still do for free and make a decent movie. But in turn, the acting is horrible. Were there no theater majors in the town where this was filmed willing to do this for free? The sound effects are generic and mismatched. Couldn't the director have made some sounds on his own or perhaps hired someone from the local college to do it for free for the resume? The stunts, if you can call them that, or I guess the quote unquote action scenes, are boring and never do anything imaginative behind some blood trickles. There had to be some local guy around that could build some shitty props for the movie. Now of course there are certain things in a movie that you can't help despite the budget, and this is where your practice comes in. The shots are badly established, where it feels like people forgot their cues or positions. Here's some examples. Find out about what? You two aren't talking about what I think you're talking about, are you? Fuck off, Josh. Look, wouldn't you be a smart girl and learn how to keep... Jack! Jack! Jack, damn it! Listen to me. All right, hey. No one's gonna take you from here. And of course you can tell by those scenes that there's bad dialogue and stupid actions by people. The script doesn't even seem like it was written by someone who understands people. Many of the situations are situations where you ask yourself, would I be doing that? And your answer is usually, no. And the editing. My god, the editing. It looks like it was done by someone who is a little obsessed with their family's home movies. Now, the unfortunate thing is that there's nothing redeeming about Jack-O-Lantern, which kind of saddens me because I usually try to find at least one thing redeeming about a film. And normally with the lower budget movies, that redeeming quality comes with the monster because you can tell that they dumped all of the budget into it. However, this isn't the case here. The Jack-O-Lantern monster thing, whatever you want to call it, just wears a slimy rubber mask. And he also sees in <gasps> Green Vision. Okay, come on, really? Green Vision was what you came up with? Green Vision. Fuck. Okay, I've wasted enough breath on this movie. Please, do yourself a favor. Avoid this on Halloween. Honestly, I think I'd rather get diabetes from eating my Halloween candy than watch this again. 
this is probably the best scene in the movie, and it doesn't even have the fucking monster in it. Dude, okay, listen to me, okay? Hello? 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 I'm so sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh, can you move? Oh, oh, holy crap. Oh, I'm just down to stay here, right? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get you some help, okay? Can you talk? What? Here's a bad scene for you, bad dialogue, and a bad gunshot effect. I not my mouth anymore, so I looked up and he was gone. So, I went and got this gun from my bag, and I've been here ever since. But he'll be back for me, Pay. Why did he leave? Maybe he didn't want to kill you. Oh no. <laughs> He does, believe me, but I'm not gonna give him the pleasure. <gasps> it's gonna be all right. Why? Why does it have to happen, Pig? Don't worry, no one will get hurt. Remember, that's what Josh said. That's what this is all about. Chris, give me the gun. I can't. It's gonna be okay. No. It's not. No! They killed all of my friends. They've been after me for the past two days. 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 Two you two better find a good hiding spot before it's too late and stay away from the old house down the road. Oh, check this puppy out, Brett. Okay, it's a truck. It's not just a truck. It's a truck with a Hemi. A what? <laughs> Never mind. It's a good idea, comrade.